What up everybody, it's your girl Princess Tisha and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be different. It's going to be tips and advice on being a YouTuber. I know I'm new, new to this all, but before I even started this YouTube channel, which is Princess Tisha, I had a YouTube channel before when I was 16 years old. And my parents told me not to, like, upload because they knew, like, all the stuff that would come with being a YouTuber. Getting a whole lot of hate comments, dislikes on videos. And, like, they didn't feel like I was mentally ready for that. But I felt like I was. But I waited until I was 18, which I am now. And I told myself, okay... I'm in college now, freshman year, so I waited until my, what is it, my winter break, and I told myself I will be dedicated, I will constantly upload, and that's how this YouTube channel came about. See, being a YouTuber, you don't need a lot. All you need is, I got my little tripod that I have. I could sh take it off right now and show you guys. Oh, let's, let me, oh. Okay, so I got this little tripod from Walmart online. And it came with this, a little clicker. So I just set up my tripod and I used the little clicker to turn on and record. Let me put this back on. And I just rest this right on my computer desk and record. This only cost me, what, only $10? And it comes with both. And I already have a desk light. A desk light. Let me turn it off. This desk light is black. I don't recall where I got this from, but you could get this from Walmart. I'm pretty sure you could get this from Walmart also. And that's how it all started. My desk light, this buying this tripod with this little clicker and just recorded videos and yeah. And see with me, I have a, on my phone, every iPhone has the little notes. And for me to constantly do videos, I made a schedule on my notes. So I'm like, week one, from this day to this date, this is what I'm doing. So since I'm recording on my phone, I'll show you on my laptop what it looks like. So, I don't know if you guys could see. Hold on. Okay, let me show y'all. So, so, I put like a week one and the days. And like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday through Friday. What videos I want to do. And like when I record those videos, edit it. I put a check mark. Each video I record, edit, I put a check mark. So I did that for every single week. I don't know if you guys could see this. So I do a whole entire week. So right now we are on week eight and the fourth. So Monday, today is Monday. Tips on being a YouTuber. And then Wednesday, record a video. And that's how it is. So that's how I plan. And that's like... And when I don't feel like... When I don't feel like doing something, like... Like, for example, this week, week two. Oh, I know this is not showing correctly, but... Like, you see week two, I put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
So Tuesday was Christmas, then Wednesday, then Thursday, and then Friday, I told myself I'm going to take a break. And then, and I also put like the times I'm going to upload. And then week seven, look. Same thing. I put, I write, I write out everything. I write out everything that I'm going to be recording. And then edit it. And then put my check mark next to it. So, that's simple. It's not that hard being a YouTuber. But you have to be mentally, I had to, you have to be mentally prepared for the hate comments and all of that. In the comment section because I know coming on YouTube, being a YouTuber, I know I will have a lot of hate comments because when I talk certain, some of my ex, some of my, oh my God, my accent, when I talk my words, it don't sound right because of my accent. And it's hard for some people to understand and people would judge me on my accent and be like, ugh. So it's like, whatever. I love my accent. Some people will hate it. Some people will love it. But I, you have to mentally prepare for these hate comments and all these stuff. It doesn't matter. The comments don't affect me at all. And then, like, when I complete, like, a whole month of a, of a schedule, I put, like, dotted lines of, like, stuff that I might want to, like, record and do for the next month or something like that. So, I don't know what else. That's it. All you need is, and like, for me, when I record like my, um, what is it? My mini hauls, I don't have a floor tripod. Like, I don't have a floor tripod at all. So, what I do is mount my shoebox to get, like, mount my shoebox. And rest my little tripod that I have that I bought because I'm not about to go put myself in expense to buy it. I know I was looking into one but I'm like right now I could work with what I have you could work with what you have like a lot of y'all won't realize it that a lot of stuff in your house y'all could work with and like I know like in future videos I want to do like DIYs and stuff because I like my room ever since I move out moved to this state like my like this is not how I want my room to be like my room is plain as you can see my walls are plain it's plain this is not me this is not how I want my room so it's gonna be a lot of DIY probably this summer this summer I might redo my whole whole entire room and yeah that's tips and advice on being a YouTuber. And just when you come on here, be yourself. Don't switch up your personality. Because then you're being fake to people who watch you and people who subscribe to you. Just be yourself. Be real. See, me, I'm a very shy person. But when I get on camera, I'm like, I, like I'm also, I'm still shy, but I talk. Like, I'm shy and outgoing at the same time. I don't know how that works for me, but for me, like... And I think me starting my YouTube now than when I was 16, I'm better off now when I'm looking back when I was 16 when I started because... If I, if I, I started at 16, but I, I would have probably not been consistent uploading videos and all of that. I would have just upload one video and won't go back. And I look up to a lot of these YouTubers, which inspired me to become a YouTuber. So, also when I came into, when I first wanted to start YouTube, I literally, go, I literally went on YouTube and searched up how to become a YouTuber. And it's like, some videos was helpful, some videos was not. I'm telling you. Literally, you could have, right now, if you're like, if the sun is out bright, 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 that's the time for you to record because that's the best lighting. 
or you could if there's a room in your house that has a nice bright lights record in that room make sure you have like a nice background like make sure your background is not clutter or messy or anything and I record on when I record my videos I edit all my videos on iMovie it's the best it's the best that's the best editing process I could do um and if you if anybody want to be re like do reactions you don't have to pay for anything to download the videos on YouTube. No, there is a, I use an app, I use an app called My Media. If I, so I go click on the video that I want to re, re, uh, react to and I copy the U, URL and I would put everything down below in the comments down below. And if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys put it in the comment section and let me know. I will answer it. And that, like, if you don't want to record, because I know everybody have an iPhone, but if you don't want to record on your iPhone, and if you have, like, a regular laptop, I know, like, Apple laptops, yeah, but exception of that. Talking about people who has regular HP, Dell laptops, and all those regular laptops if you have a laptop and your laptop camera quality is not good you can actually go online and google search online recording cameras and there I'm, I'm telling you there are so many different recording cameras online and you can find one that has kind of of a good quality they're not all good quality I'm telling you they're not but it's it could be a start where you can go Cause what I wanted to start off, I wanted to start off recording on my laptop, but I'm like, let me record on my phone. And I'm about, I, I hope this, my videos are helpful to people because that's all I want. I love helping people out and inspiring people to go and do whatever they want to do. I'm about to start my second YouTube channel. Which is gonna base on coding, programming, and all that other computer stuff. Because my major that I'm going into, I'm gonna be double majoring computer science, computer security, minoring business management, and I wanna. I'm while I'm recording and learning different coding programs, I wanna teach you guys. So that's gonna be my second YouTube channel that I'm gonna make. I don't know when. I'm going to start, I'm going to create that channel and upload videos, but I just want to get this channel up and running and in good standards and then I can venture off onto my other channel. But I hope, I hope I'm really helpful to whoever watching my videos and I really appreciate you guys, every single one of you guys that subscribe to my channel. I really didn't really thought that I would be doing any progress on this channel. Like, I went from one subscriber to almost 20-something subscribers in two weeks. Two or three weeks. And now I'm up to like 30, 30-something 30 subscribers. And I appreciate every single one of you guys that subscribed to me. I would have done nothing without you guys like you guys are really helping me and I'm hope hoping that I'm inspiring you guys and I'm helpful and yeah which inspired me to become a youtuber so I know I'm talking on and on and on but I'm about to end this video Make sure you guys like comment and subscribe put out your post notification bell and see you guys in the next video Peace.